Hey friends, it's Jennifer Herndon at jenniferherndon.com. Today we are going to talk about Twitter etiquette. And specifically, we're going to talk about innocent spammers on Twitter. Now I know innocent and spam don't uh, particularly go hand in hand, but what I've discovered over the last few weeks is that there are people who I think honestly don't know how to use Twitter and what proper etiquette is on Twitter when it comes to sharing your business or your opportunity with your fellow tweeters. So um, you may learn a lesson here today and more likely hopefully this video is something that you can um, send off to innocent spammers that you encounter on Twitter so that they can learn better way to use Twitter hopefully. So let's start out. I think the best way to show you this is I've pulled up one of the examples that I have encountered, a conversation that I've had with someone over the last couple of weeks who I think honestly just doesn't know how to use Twitter. So I'm going to go to uh, the conversation that I had with this person so that you can see what not to do on Twitter. The conversation started out, well, the person wasn't even a part of the conversation to start out, when I gave my friend Susan Preston a plus K or clout about personal development. So I tweeted out that I had endorsed her about personal development on clout. And this here is the response that I got from this person, um, directed to me, to my friend Susan, and to clout. Get money online. And then a link was, was included after that. Now, I didn't know, this was someone that I was following, the person was following me, but I didn't know and had never had any communication or engagement with this person. So I responded back asking them, what does this have to do with clout and or personal development or anything related to my tweet? And the response I got was, just check my blog out. Okay. So I responded back, I understand that's what you want me to do, but spamming me is not a good way to get me to do that. Just saying. Well, apparently there was some offense taken to my reference to spam. And I received then two responses from this person. The first one saying, I bought the system I'm advertising. Okay, so apparently this means it's not spam. And at the same time I got that response, I also got this response from the person saying, it's not spam. Well, based on those two replies that I got, I then responded, doesn't matter if it made you a million dollars. Replying to my totally unrelated tweet to someone by saying get money online is spam. And the response came back then, well, I was just trying to share with you, so just ignore it. Don't call it spam. Well, sorry, once again, there appears to be a lot of offense taken to the word spam there because I think this person honestly didn't understand. This is not how you use Twitter. They apparently had been taught, throw out your links there, and if you get them to as many people as you possibly can, and someone will then click on your link and buy your system. So my final response to this person was, if you want to introduce someone to a good deal on social media, form a relationship with them first then if they are interested you can share. Now I haven't heard any response back apparently um, you know I don't know whether this person just um, is, has given up on me or we agreed to disagree I'm not really sure but in any event this is um, my example for you today of how not to use Twitter okay and I have a real I had a really good um, example from a friend of mine, Stacy Myers, who she and I were engaged in one of these similar uh, Twitter conversations back and forth between the two of us, and somebody interrupted just like that, throwing in a link that they wanted us to check out, and she responded to them, um, you know, if you were at a cocktail party, would you walk up and say that to us? And I think that's a good way to think of Twitter. You know, if I had been talking with my friend Susan and said, hey, I endorsed you on clout. If we had been at a party, we've been having this discussion in a public place where everyone could hear, but just between the two of us, would you feel comfortable walking up to me and saying, hey, make money online and throwing out a website to me? 
Of course you wouldn't do that. So I think it's a perfect way to look at Twitter. Think of it as being at a cocktail party. And when you before you respond to somebody or before you throw something out there, think, would I do this in real life? Because really, social media has become real life. And the same kind of rules apply. So next time you're tempted to present someone with your opportunity, um, think about whether this is something you would do if you were actually seeing this person in real life. And the bottom line is, of course you wouldn't. You wouldn't introduce any kind of a business opportunity to them or talk to them about buying anything from you if you didn't know them and hadn't developed a relationship with them. So keep that in mind when you're tweeting, when you're on any social media platform, that it's about developing a relationship. And then if there's an interest in products or services, that can be shared after the relationship is developed. So I hope that this video has helped you with how to, um, what proper Twitter etiquette is. And if that's something you've already got down, which I'm sure many of you do, maybe you can send the link to this video off to the next person that you encounter on Twitter who is unclear about what proper etiquette is or who is just throwing a lot of spam at you. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.